Let's talk about fan service. Now, this isn't a video so that I could tell you that we need fan service, but not a video to tell you that we, you know, we should remove fan service. We should, you know, censor fan service. We should stop making fan service characters. We should stop doing this or just having, um, you know, just removing fan service or, you know, every single video game should have fan service. No, no, this isn't anything about that. This isn't about like a specific video game. It's not about a specific anime. It's not about anything, any, any sort of that. What I want to talk about in terms of fan service is that fan service is going to be something that you see constantly in any sort of media that specifically um, tends to go towards more of those type of tropes where fan service is a huge part of the fictional media and it allows you to, um, you know, gain a certain attraction for a lot of people, whether it be males or females, right? Or binary, non-binary, you know. And the thing I think most people need to understand is that, yes, fan service is a quality that a lot of characters do get. It's a, a lot of things that, you know, go both ways. There are male fan service and there's female fan service. Granted, more fan service towards, you know, female characters where a lot of more female characters get a lot more of the fan service rather than the males unless it's a specific type of fiction, you know, basically aiming for that, you know, demographic for people who want to see male, you know, fan service. But I want to talk about specifically is that fan service is constantly used as a way to degrade a certain character. That's what I want to talk about. Because I am constantly seeing this be a huge topic among many different communities. Uh, specifically two of them I'm, you know, happy to be a part of. One Piece and uh, Final Fantasy VII and many other, you know, uh, different types of um, fandoms. And when you begin to degrade a character, to, you know, shit on a character, to tell me or someone else that a character's only fan service that is such a horrendous opinion that should not be in any formal way validated as a reason to degrade a character or to say that a person's favorite character is ass sucks and so on and so forth i look everyone loves fan service to a degree some people love it more than others. Some people, you know, you know, are like, ah, eh, okay, there's some fan service, but it's not the whole point of the character, you know? And the problem stems from people thinking that if a character is fan servicey, by that I mean, you know, large chest, you know, thin waist, you know, really attractive with, you know, um, really, uh, <laughs> how do I explain this? In the most uh, PG way possible. In in a very um, sensual way. You know. Um, I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't, I don't know. Just, you know. Whatever. You get my point. They use that as a way to say. Oh well this character is boring. Or this character is nothing. This character is useless. This character is bad. Because this character was made for fan service. You know. To appease. You know. Certain groups of people. You know, oh, she got big boobas because that's the only quality she's got. You know, she's useless any other way. She's only there to, you know, for the porn addicts, for the hentai addicts, you know, all that stuff. That is such a goddamn terrible take, especially if there's more to a character than just how they look. And it's frankly so, so awful to hear people argue or debate or you know just talk about certain characters to try to hate on them and the moment they use anything by saying oh she's just a fan service character or he's just a fan service character to me that is such a goddamn horrible take there is a lot to a character than that characters can come in all shapes and sizes not all characters have fan service not all characters need fan service not all characters should have fan service but at the end of the day that's not what defines a character what defines a character is their personality is what they do in the story how they react to certain incidents in the story like their flashback their past their you know their trauma all that stuff it's shocking to me that people 
will see a character have these assets and all of a sudden think, oh, this character is fucking boring. This character is useless. This character has no, like, um, has there's no quality to them that makes them a great character because all they are is just to appease a certain gaze. It is so bullshit. I swear. I see this constantly. I see this with Nami in One Piece. I see this with Tifa in, in Final Fantasy VII. I see this in Orihime in Bleach. It's so terrible. If you don't like a character, say you don't like a character, but don't use fan service as an excuse. Use it because you don't like a certain quality that they have. Not appearance. I'm talking about like personality-wise, character-wise. For example, if you don't like Nami because she tends to be very angry at certain stuff, such as, you know, things that are not like where she accidentally, um, well, not accidentally, where like let's say Luffy, you know, does something incredibly stupid that risks their life, she gets angry at him and punches him. You see, for something like that, that's, you know, he kind of deserved it because he did something incredibly stupid that could have harmed her and everyone else. If she did it like the way Tori sometimes freaking um, showcases her, especially in movie seven of One Piece, that is bad. That, I could see why you wouldn't like that. I don't like that. I never liked her portrayal in the, in the seventh movie. It was awful. See, that part, yes. But to get angry at her for hitting Luffy, for doing something incredibly stupid, reckless, and could have endangered their lives. See, that's reasonable. But, do not hate her just because you think all that she has is, you know, the assets. And everything else, you don't even mention about how kind she is to kids. How nice she is and gets along really well with other people really quickly. Like the way she got along with Vivi really well, Kami, all those characters. It's insane to say that all she is is just that. It's just her appearance and she's nothing more than something for, you know, for people who look at um, hentai. You know, it's baffling to say this. Tifa is the same way. People have this agenda for some strange reason. Because whether it be shipping or just because you like Aerith or some other character more. You all automatically think that, hey, Tifa, the only reason why Tifa was created was because they needed, you know, someone to uh, appease fan service, you know? That's the only reason why. If I hear a take like that, I will never take you um, seriously at all. You, That is not a legitimate take to have. Do not go after a character's appearance, unless the appearance is something very specific that really goes against, like, something that maybe a character's personality-wise. I can't give you a great example, but, there, but you know, unless there's an something with their appearance that really matters to their personality and character-wise, then yes, I could see why you would, you would attack it because it affects their personality-wise, right? But if you just do it just because you think that the only reason people like a character is because of how attractive they are or how sexy they are or because of how big their assets are or any of like that, then you are just having a terrible take and you legitimately do not understand the character and you only hate the character because of that. That is such a terrible thing to hate a character for. I'm sorry, but that that's just how I feel. And it's just baffling to me that a lot of people would immediately demean a character just because of how they look and immediately be like, oh, well, that character's only, you know, for fan service, you know. She's only there because, you know, you got to appease the people who love big boobs or stuff like that, you know. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why are you attacking that? T if you don't like a character, tell me you don't like a character because, you know, you think Tifa is uh, not confident, you know. Okay, great. But here's the thing. She could work on being confident. Great. That's awesome. If you don't like because of her, you know, lack of confidence, that's okay. That's reasonable. That's at least reasonable that you want her to be a little bit more confident in herself. Great. Fantastic. Cool. We could have dialogue in some form of way. I could tell you how Tifa is slowly coming out of her shell, out of her insecurities and all that stuff. See? That's perfectly fine. We can have an argument there. But the moment you tell me that the only reason why you say I like her is because of how she looks, I immediately just dismiss you and just like, you know what? We're done talking here. You have nothing good to say. We're done. That's it. Bye-bye.
we're done talking same code goes with nami you could tell me that you don't like how sometimes nami can be a little bit aggressive in certain ways okay we could have dialogue there a little bit but if that's the only thing you care about and that's the reason why you demean her because you think that she just constantly hits everybody constantly like all the fucking time you're not reading the story properly you're not reading how certain incidents and you know cause her to be that aggressive it's just baffling i just <sighs> apparently characters cannot come in all shapes and sizes it's ridiculous to think that it's freaking ridiculous if you want to debate or you know have an argument about why you don't like a specific character go after their you know like their personalities about or what they certainly um lack in you know in terms of you know their personality their character description all that stuff to you know as the reason why you don't like them that's perfectly fine don't go after them just because you think they're some sort of fan service character that you think is the only reason why they were created it's stupid it's such a demeaning way to argue against something and i hate that i hate that so much i love for example in both cases in one piece and final fantasy 7 i love both tifa and earth i love both nami and robin they're both they they are literally friends and they literally are you know cheerleaders for each other they're they are so like the best of, of friends and stuff like that so it's baffling to me why people hate them oh it's honestly so terrible to see people argue about two characters that actually get along in the story you're not a fan of the character if you legitimately hate the other character just because of some petty reason or some agenda based reason it's stupid god damn it oh i'm getting heated for no reason but at the end of the day if you ever want to discuss a certain character especially with me if you're ever going to discuss a certain character if you're ever going to discuss or you know have a debate about a certain character do not tell me that all oh, that character is just big boobas i would immediately just be like you know what you don't understand the character you're clearly you know not like reading the story well you're not realizing what the characters are i'm done with you we're not talking anymore bye bye I'm not, and don't come up to me saying, oh, well, that's because you can only dispute, you can't dispute that, the, you know, they're only a character because of this and that. No, I'm only going to tell you this. I don't debate or talk with people who I don't know about a character's appearance if that's the only reason why you don't like the character. I'm, I'm not going to talk, I'm not discuss because it's almost impossible to tell for me to tell you as to why you shouldn't use that in an argument and that we should talk about personality because most of the time if you do that if you do talk about just their appearance most of the time you just you don't understand their character at all and there's no point in trying to argue with that if you don't understand the character because you'll just not understand you know my reasoning as to why i like a certain character god damn at the end of the day fan service is just a quality some characters have it's a part of media, especially in Japanese media. It happens. They are fan service characters, but do not tell me that that's the only good a character is for. Because at the end of the day, that's just a really bullshit excuse. I'm sorry, that's a bullshit excuse. Because you don't understand the character, and you're only doing just because of your hate or some agenda based whatever moment or whatever thing you have. You know whether it be shipping or just you know favoritism for another character do not degrade other characters for whatever reason to try to please yourself that's all i'm saying so thank you so much for watching this video hopefully um in any shape or form it helps you understand how fan service can be you know in a really big part of a character but that does not in any shape or form tell you the whole story about the character and why you should never use fan service as a reason to hate another character or to argue with another person why that character is bad that's all i'm gonna say so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time Bye bye